Hello my friends, I hope you are doing well. We are on to the Mobius mod and we are going to Dead Man's Port. This is what everybody in the YouTube comments said that we should do. And by everyone, I guess I mean uh, whatever the top voted comment was. <laughs> so that's, you know, basically everybody. Because, you know, the internet is a hive mind of like-minded individuals who agree on absolutely everything. So we're going to give Cutthroat a go. I am very interested in the Widow Mine. I think it's going to be a pretty good unit. So we will see how it goes. And then I got a message from the Hyperion. Hey, Commander. I see you've made your way to Dead Man's Port. Nasty place, isn't it? All these, all kind of criminals down there, but also many business opportunities. If you feel like earning a few bucks, I may have a job for you. The Alpha Centauri Crime Syndicate, that's a long way away, has put a bounty on any member of the Torin gang. <laughs> I heard the latter works for Orlin. You should hunt them down. Graven Hill, human resources. I love what... Is it going to be actual Torin? <laughs> because that would be really funny. Oh, that would be great. Just cow bros going around doing their cow bro thing. Uh, so, I think I know... Like, obviously, we want to make mines for defense here. They're going to be real good. But I think I know what unit I want to make on offense here. It's uh, one that we haven't really gotten to do much with yet, and I'm very excited to see. So just drop some turrets here to see what we can do. Drop a repair thing. Start clearing this out. Yeah, this turret strat's working real well. Even if we don't have a Betty available currently. Nice. Oh, they can change the voice line? Nice. I appreciate that. And when I say I appreciate that, I'm not appreciating that Tychus is saying nice things to me, but <laughs> that they changed the voice line. I think that's very cool. Okay. And then we can get some of these. We got a Stepman. Stepman's going to be great. And let's get an attack upgrade as well. We're going to need a lot of gas. So remember that this is nightmare difficulty as a base, which means that we have to be pretty darn quick. Otherwise, Orlin is going to absolutely trounce us in speed. Let's try to pull these guys over to Betty, and then Betty gets healed up by Swan. And we just keep poking as I build my army. Oh, a couple guys got through. Oh, I'm supply blocked, so my forces are not actually going to be able to come and help, and I have to withdraw for a second. That was a mistake on my part. You know, first game of the day never counts, though, right? Thank you, Swan. Cancel that. Let's uh, just start mine production in earnest. I think that's going to be very good. And... This mission, I'm a big fan of building up a pretty darn big force to clear out these bases. I think that it saves time in the long run. Because if you just don't have enough, you start hemorrhaging stuff against these defenders, especially on the higher difficulties where there's a lot of stuff going on. Swan's great. Look at him. And by him, I mean Betty. Oh, gosh. Okay. Bro. Nope. Okay, jump, jump. Yeah! I think the Reapers are going to be really good on this mission. Especially now that they can hit air. They're going to be good against basically everything that Orlin has. So that's what I'm that's what I'm focusing on here. We don't have the reactorable ability, but I think they can hit air and they can hit ground, right? We don't have the KD-8 charge, but we have the anti-structure explosive. So we can clear through the buildings. And this is an infinite gas geyser, which means that we're actually going to be doing pretty well in gas numbers. Start getting these. And get the bonus objectives. That'll be the next big thing. See if we can get some upgrades for these mines. Not there. So, will the mines have upgrades, or will it be vulture upgrades? That is the interesting question. I assume it's... Well, I guess we don't have the vulture. Interesting. Well, 
increase spider mine splash radius and widow mine range. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so we are gonna have spider mines at some point. Very interesting. Oh, look at how good these reapers are. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna use my gas on reapers and then I'm gonna use the minerals to save up for Colonel Orlin. These do hit air, right? Yeah, they do. So even if some ravens or something hits us, or those ravens that come later, should be able to melt through them. We can hit these flyers. Ah, oh, they're rebuilding stuff up there. That is a lot of guys. Here's one, drop a Betty for them. Oh, it's so much damage. That's insane. It looks like attack wave from the other side got owned as well. And actually, I'm going to take these guys and I'm going to build a command center right here. Because I need the gas income. Upgrade complete. Also, they're doing a lot of annoying stuff. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Here, you are going to be bait. We're going to morph you into a Herc for a sec just to save time. Oh, this is not good. Yeah, that rebuild was very annoying. And this is taking a lot of our time. Orlin is very close to being done. Oh, the aggression is crazy. But so are Widow Mines. Okay, more Reapers. You guys can finish off this barracks, and then one of you is going to go over there. The rest will head up. Get this Gas Geyser as well, and we need to stop Orlin. This is... Really important. I'm a little bit afraid of being attacked from this side now, so let's just start getting some of the mines. A little bit better positioned. I like something like this. He's got $5,000. But we have plus two attack, right? Yes. So our attacks are going to cleave through even armored things at this point. Two of his bases are down. On Nightmare, I believe that he has more than the normal number of miners inside of his base, so we can't just stall out forever. It's getting close. Oh, careful. <laughs> Reaper lived. And this will be the second upgrade we can get. Widow Mines drill faster. Oh, that's a good one. One more base to take down. Maybe like that. I'm actually going to make this into a planetary. Just for... I don't know. I fe I'm feeling scared about that side. It's kind of under-defended. And I think that this is going to be the end of the Widow Mines that I build. I tore through a bunker. Didn't even notice. That's good. Oh, siege tank. Okay, we gotta move up. Oh gosh, Swan fell over. Save our stet. That's what SOS means, to save our stepman. And now we have to pick up money as fast as we can. We're gonna leave one Reaper over here to help pick up Swan. And everything else is gonna be no more production for the rest of the game. Except maybe some upgrades. Upgrades seem okay. Oh gosh. 5,700. Bad rally, bad rally. No, it's just bad play. There's that off. I don't know why we have high ground vision. I'm not going to ask. 5,800. I wish Orland spent money when he was building these buildings. That is an attack wave. We can drop this and then drop a repair bot. Oh, this is the Torrin! We found him! Okay. Now we have everything hooked up together so we can rally our forces back. Uh, Swan fell over again. Uh, 100 more minerals! Jump up here, kill these, more cows. 
Oh, these cows are in my way. I just want to pay off the mercenary, Captain. <laughs> this is very normal. Let's, uh... Grab that. Oh, no. 40 more dollars. There's some right up here. Send that guy to get it. Finish these off, and... Uh, who did it? <laughs> We're fine. We're doing great. My goodness. Okay. So we got these. Send over here. And, you know, I don't, I don't need this infinite gas, guys, right anymore. I have 2,700 gas. I think we're fine. Damn straight. Let's send everything down here. And we gotta build up a good old army. Probably a maxed out army in order to beat this. And be very careful with my movement. Because we got there. <laughs> I don't want to mess it up now. Oh, you guys are like long distance mining. We don't do that here. We can mine from this base. Probably abandon the planetary. It's just going to live down there. Maybe an attack wave will go attack it at some point, and that'd be pretty cool. Oh, no, we're not sieged. Wait a moment. You got to wait for the laws of siegedom. Maybe we don't need that one bunker. Because I think these guys inside of bunkers are going to be insane. I don't remember if I noticed before that we could fit extra Reapers into bunkers. They're only half the size of the Base Wings Liberty Campaign ones. That's a really good change. I like that a lot. And we're going to keep the infantry moving while the mech defends. That's a good way to do it. And what do I want to build at this point? The thing is, the Widow Mine is not an attacking unit. And Orland's base is going to be ridiculous because nightmare. So I think that we need a decent number of Diamondbacks in the front because I'm expecting a lot of siege fire. And then infantry in the back. The Reaper count is already pretty good. I could get some Spectres for their confusion ability. They're also very gas intensive, which would be fantastic right here. I really like that idea. I don't know where I'm going with this army. It's kind of wandering. I might as well clear out these guys. And we have killed four out of the five Torin guys. Okay. So I'm going to wander around and look for the final one, though I am getting a sneaking suspicion that that guy is going to be inside of the enemy base. Because this area looks fairly clear. Oh, he could be right up here, actually. That area is unexplored. Set these over here. I think this is going to be an easy clear. Oh, one of my guys is a detector. Who is it? Stepman. I think he's Stepman. He's a good detector. And we're just mineral shy still to build this army. Oh. I think that was a ghost? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, that's a siege tank. <laughs> okay. I, I can recognize that one. I feel the Crucio shock cannon in my bones. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that Spectre Diamondback is a really good call here. And, oh, you know what? I'm thinking about design stuff. And if you're going to put the bounty somewhere, then what are you trying to do? Maybe he put it inside of the enemy base to prevent cheese. Ow. So that you can't just go up here and dive it without losing the opportunity inside of this main area. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh, no, 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 this is gonna be, this is gonna be bad. Irradiate everything that has ever lived, Stepman. Stepman just saved the entire universe. What a guy. Yeah, so I bet it's an anti-cheese anti thing. 
for Mr. Cow. We'll find him. If he did that, that's actually quite clever. Took me a while to think about. We can move this to the final location, but we're going to be maxed soon. And I sure as heck am bringing my SCVs to the final fight, because I'm not dumb. I know what they can become. What else do I need? Just a couple more infantry, I guess. So we got the Spectres. They have the emergency survival protocol, so they can take some hits. I think I want to leave them uncloaked, because Cloak is going to... Wait, what? Huh. I did... I thought I didn't get that upgrade. Oh, maybe it... Maybe it's draining energy equal to the energy that is being regenerated, and then if you get the upgrade, then it net gains energy. That might be what's going on right there. Interesting. Still absurdly overpowered, obviously. Because it's the Spectre. But that's what we're here for. So I want the Spectres on a hotkey. All these guys, let's go. And then Diamondbacks on a hotkey in the front. So they can soak all those shots with their hardened shields. And to make something magical happen with a 200 supply army. Oh, and of course, a nuke. Oh, it's only a 195 supply army. It's not going to go very well. I can target this down. And there we go. Confusion. Uh-oh. Oh no, okay, um, where's my, oh gosh, uh, I can't really see where those missiles are firing, huh? Confusion, confusion, everybody fight each other. We busted through, gonna start some SCVs. Rally him over here. Where is this cow? I need him. I'm gonna find him. I'm not killing this planetary until he's dead. Maybe he's behind the planetary. Okay. We're gonna lift these to search for him. Because I don't want that to go wrong. Okay, we're taking down that. There's a couple more starports over there. We'll deal with them in a sec. I'm not super concerned about them at the moment. Yeah, we can just drop some mines around here, and that should deal with it. We got the buildings coming in from behind. Oh, that guy, that guy scared me. I thought he was going to murder me for a sec. It's like, whoa, there's a Chungus among us. All right, sending these in. There's a lot of turrets and stuff. I'm not seeing any Torin. You go that way, you go this way. Still a lot of stuff. Interesting. I didn't see it. Let's go check over here where these buildings are. Move the tanks forward. Oh, there he is! Huh. Hey, bud. Perfect. Okay, now we can go win. That is good. I'm a little bit scared. I don't have a whole lot right now. Uh, okay, I do have a whole lot right now. These guys aren't that useful. So, let's get dim Diamondbacks in the front. Attack. We're going to move these right over here just so they blow up stuff that's not me. And then I'm going to mess up my movement. I'm going to spam confusion everywhere just to make everybody confused because I'm confused in real life a lot of the time, so they should be too. And then we can take Colonel Orland down. Nice. What happens here? How long does this cutscene last? Does it kill my guys? All right, all right, I surrender. Just take your damn edge of it already. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. 
Yes! <laughs> Get wrecked. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, that was a lot of fun. I like the idea of putting the guy inside of there. That was actually pretty clever. So, what do we have available now? We can go to the map. Oh, we got some research. Of course, we got the Protoss research. So, supply depots are built instantly. Uh, decreases the cost of depots by 150 minerals. That is a change from Nightmare and Depot HP increased by 150. I don't know if that is a Nightmare change or if that is from this mod. Either way, I like it. Or refineries produce Vespine faster. Also applies to the automated refinery. I'm going to go for the one with the new stuff, even though I vastly prefer microfiltering. I think that it is generally pretty obviously better. However, yeah, let's work with it. Let's see what it's like. And then we can head to the armory and get some stuff. We have $241 million. The Reapers, I think they did great. I'm going to get the medic HP at this point. And then burrow faster, increase the trigger radius by 33%. I'm going to get that for defensive purposes. Uh, extra range is insane. I think that if we're playing defensive with the mines, then we don't really need the burrow speed upgrade as much. Now, one thing that is interesting is we have the upgrade that puts this on all of our guys. The ESP. Does the advanced ESP only work on the Legionnaire, or does it work on everybody? I think it's just on the Legionnaire and everyone else gets the base version, so I'm not really enthralled by it. On the other hand, I have been using the Diamondback a lot, so I think I'm going to grab the upgrade for it. I will, I've been pretty impressed. And I think that that is that. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with this and we can go to Meinhof. Valhalla. Ooh, the missile frigate. Look how chonky that guy is. He's huge. <laughs> he doesn't fit inside the thing. Shut up, Matt. We're talking. <laughs> He's so big. <laughs> or we can get the normal-sized heavy Crucio siege tank. <laughs> so, which one do you guys want to see? Um, I'm going to look at my research counts one sec. We have... We have 12, so I am going to point out that if we get three more Zerg research, we can get either Hercules or the Predator, which will be really cool. Or uh, we can just keep going, because we're going to get all the research anyway. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace!